Well, hello everybody. I'm Eddie Rainier. I'm your director of golf here at Iron Oaks. And one of the biggest things that we'd like to uh, teach you today is warming up before you hit a golf ball. And most people think warming up is just getting a bucket of balls and just taking it to the range and just start swinging. But that's when people get injured and that's, your body's still cold. So we need to do some exercises, some stretching before we even hit our first ball. So today I'm gonna be working with our trainer here at the fitness center, Pro. And Pro's gonna show us a couple of exercises, some stretching, uh, some core work, and a little bit of rotational exercises to help prepare your body before you hit that first shot of the day. All right, so like Eddie said, we wanna start with opening up through that range of motion. One really good exercise for that is called a 90-90 stretch. And for this, you'll be laying on your side, and you'll have, this is how it gets its name, hip is bent to 90 degrees, knees are bent to 90 degrees, the feet can be out there just a little bit so that you have that 90 degree angle. Both arms start in, out in front, straight in front of your chest. You take that left hand, or whatever hand is on top, you turn, opening up your chest, head, and open, rotating kind of a diagonal angle if you can with that arm, up at a 45 degree angle with that left arm there, Eddie. We'll point that up a little bit, there you go. And then we'll use your breathing to help you through this to stretch. So you take a nice deep breath in, and then as you exhale, you can sink into that stretch a little further, and you'll feel that opening up, stretching through this whole left side for you. So then you can close it back up and repeat. And on the second one, we'll try to keep the knees touching as you open up. It'll give you a little bit better stretch. You feel that stretching through the whole left side, turning the head with it and opening up and just getting that great big range of motion for rotational movement. All right, when you get out to the golf course, of course, you're not gonna have any weights or anything to help you stretch. So you got your golf clubs and you got your body. So before you hit that first shot, just to warm up and give a full body warm up, you're gonna engage your legs and your shoulders and your hips in this little move that we're gonna teach you. You're gonna stand with your feet straight forward, hands holding your shaft straight ahead, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna step back and rotate, step back and rotate. And when you step back, you're stepping back, the wide is your stance, the back foot is gonna be perpendicular, and then you're gonna rotate your hips first, and then your chest and your arms come with it. Step, rotate, turn. There's three versions you can do this. The first one is staring straight ahead. Second one is looking over your right shoulder. And the third one is a full turn all the way around. And what this mimics is, I'm going to show you in one second, is when I do to my right, if you're a right-handed player, that's my back swing. And when I do to my left, that's my follow-through. And what this does is it engages, starts with your legs up, all the way up to your shoulders and your arms, because every time we swing, we create leverage from the ground, so we step first and then turn. All right, so as Eddie's going, you here see a lot of rotation through the hips and the pivot on the back foot. That's really important so that as you're twisting, you're not gonna twist your knee. You wanna get that movement through the hips. The hips are what power the ball, and that's how you get the range of motion that you're looking for on a follow through and a backswing. And if you like these videos, click on the link below here. And you can find out a couple more exercises that we've worked on to really help you strengthen your full body. Thanks, and we'll see you soon at the course.